This is a little surprise video in between, since we got some amazing new information about ABBA's upcoming concerts, and we are so close now. Hey, hey! So, can you believe that we are less than four weeks away now? from a brand new ABBA experience, like the first in 40 years really. We will be sitting in an arena built by ABBA, for ABBA, and even if some of us cannot be there, you will be there. I know you will absorb just about every bit of information and report, you will have an amazing imagination of how it will be, and in the end, we will all be together to experience ABBA's voyage. In a brand new article for the Evening Standard magazine, we got a brand new look at ABBA's avatars. Here they are, and it could as well be an alternate take of this classic photo session from 1979. That's how stunning it looks to me. Our friend Cristiano Azzurro immediately left a comment when the paper was released that evening, and he was equally impressed. In the article, they talk about the legacy and importance of ABBA, and when they dive into the visuals of the Void show, you really get the feeling, again, that they truly understand the essence of classic ABBA. The show changes visually throughout. You understand it as a show because of the ABBA tars, they're the anchors, and there's lots of other elements. Lasse Hallström, the director of the band's 70s videos, created a visual language with ABBA that we are all so familiar with, but it's made into a 2022 version of it. We know that ABBA recorded their movements over the period of five weeks in Stockholm, and they will move differently to back in the day but the team also mixed some of their classic movements into the performance, so, again, it really seems to be now and then combined. I can't stress this enough. That goes for the music and vocals as well, which I want to talk about for a moment now. First, some updates about our setlist speculations. Last time we talked about all the songs that will very likely be part of the show based on information we got that may or may not be clues. Some of you seem to understand this as a safe bet, but I want to stress once again, take this with a grain of salt, it does not mean that all of these songs are definitely part of the setlist, especially when it comes to the lesser known tracks. And there are also other songs in the show that we haven't discussed. But we can certainly add Gimme 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 A Man After Midnight to the list, which was mentioned in the Evening Standard article as being part of the show. Some of you also mentioned that the new lyric videos might give away the songs that will be included. I think that is a likely assumption, and so far we have Chiquitita and Waterloo, which had been on our list based on other clues, and we might add Voulez Vous, which received a new lyric video just recently. We also received another good clue from JF, who says that we should definitely consider all the promotional clips of the avatars, and I couldn't agree more with that. Here we had Voulez Vous as well, and Lay All Your Love On Me. Again, this is just our very own approximation of a possible setlist, nothing confirmed. Thanks for all your comments so far. Now, before we move on to more details about the show itself, I would like to briefly discuss what many of you were asking again last time, what about ABBA's vocals? Now, to clarify other questions first, the musicians and backing singers will perform live in sync to pre-recorded ABBA vocals. But will we hear the classic vocals from the old recordings or did they re-record the songs? The fact is, there are conflicting statements about this. Before we even had the announcement for Voyage last year, it was stated that they will use archival vocals from studio or even live recordings. But in more recent statements, it sounds different. In an interview for BBC, Björn mentioned in context with the music for the live shows that some of the songs may sound different because Agneta and Frida now sing one tone lower, but that they laughed all the time during rehearsals. On a Q&A on Twitter, the question was asked if the vocals are original studio recordings or re-recordings, and the answer was somewhat ambiguous again. It only said that the vocals are original band recordings. Some of you also noticed the way Ludwig was talking about Agneta's performance of The Winner Takes It All during the Avatar recording process. But there was a moment when, I, and I'm pretty sure it was uh, during The Winner Takes It All, when, when something happened. Something happened in the whole room and everyone just stopped. And, you know, I think everyone suddenly realized, wait, what are we doing here? We're, we're, we're watching Abba and we're watching Agnetta 
singing her heart out. That was a magical moment and uh, quite powerful. So did they sing the songs again? Ludwig's statement doesn't have to mean anything really because Marlene Wagoner had a good argument about it. The four of them had to move around and sing the songs anyhow while they were in those suits and the dots on them and go through all the motions holding the microphones and possibly inhaling and exhaling with perfect unison to the original recordings. If they didn't, it wouldn't look as if the avatars weren't really performing. So we just don't have a definitive answer, I guess. Personally, I would assume that we might get newly recorded vocals, perhaps mixed with some classic vocal bits here and there, so again, it would really make it now and then combined. That could also explain all the ambiguous secrecy, but that's just my very personal impression. And it brings us to our final topic, because now and then combined indeed, let's talk about Abba's brand new costumes. The Swedish costume designer B. Okerlund is responsible for designing the costumes for Abba's avatars. By the way, her husband Jonas Okerlund created the opening video that you can see inside Abba the museum. And she created six different looks for Abba's avatars and again, I think she truly understands their legacy. Basically, the idea was to do the costumes as if ABBA just lived on and it was 2021 and they mm. never aged and it was like the same thing and but still keeping true to their original style. Last year, we received the first two looks, the classic costumes in the video for I Still Have Faith in You and the futuristic Tron-like design, which I still have to cope with for just how stunning they look. And with these two looks, we already have an imagination about the complex idea of the show. B. Okerlund has an amazing concept for it. How did you come about choosing these two looks to be like the, the face of this new generation of ABBA, if you will? Well, it was really important to me to tell, like in everything I do, I like to tell a story. I like mm. to create a character and tell a story. So, I, you know, I got a list of the, of the songs and the playlists and sort of like the vibe that we wanted to give out and how how these costumes told a story from like the opening to the finale and then I started working from there creating a mood like okay these five songs is one look so they say this and so then I you know create the concept like okay we know that this is our futuristic se se section that sort of has a Tron feel mm -hmm. and so then I work really closely together with a designer that I felt had the right idea of what I was trying to do. And now we received glimpses into more designs. Just recently we got this sneak peek on Abba Voyage's Instagram channel and these beautiful vintage costumes reminded me of their 1974 period. And the most recent revelation shows Abba in these stunning costumes. And we got the news that one of the designers is none other than Dolce & Gabbana. It has all the simplicity of Abba's classic wardrobe it looks so elegant. Look at all the details, from the glittering fabric to the golden belt and shoes. It's so majestic. All of these costumes and previews give us an idea of that amazing concept of diversity throughout the show. And at the same time, I also feel that this fits so perfect to Abba's music. The contrast of simplicity and diversity, the majesty and all of those layers. It goes hand in hand. I like to work a lot with layers, you know, like I yeah. always like you know, like, especially if you're doing a costume for five songs where there's a reveal and then there's another layer and, you know, so that you don't get right. bored, like, into the fourth song. Right. So it's, like, really in tune with the actual music and the actual show. Yeah. I am so thrilled with everything we have seen so far. And as I said in the beginning, you really get the feeling that they understand the essence of what ABBA is all about. For me... Abba's legacy is in safe hands with all of these amazing people involved, from the lovely Ludwig Andersson and Svana Gisla to the directors and producers Bailey Walsh and Johan Renk, who all four gave us some amazing photos and videos of Abba from today. And we also have choreographer Wayne McGregor, costume designer B. Ockerlund, Michael Bolingbroke as executive producer and Chris Mellish as chief executive producer, and the entire team of Industrial Light and Magic George Lucas' Star Wars company, who is responsible for the visual legacy of Abba Voyage. Last time we talked about each and every member of the New Voyage band, and they all deserve this attention, the band and the entire team, each and every one. And honestly, for me, they are all already iconic, 
They are part of ABBA's incredible story. But above all, I'm once again blown away by all the secrecy with this project that has been going on for six years. It was the very same right until the 2nd of September last year when ABBA's two new songs were released and then again right until the album release in November. It's all shrouded in mystery, there are no real leaks and I can really feel this excitement one more time. A sense of expectation hanging in the air before we are all witness to this incredible revelation. So this is my sincere thank you to everyone involved because you're not only showing genuine loyalty towards ABBA and their legacy by keeping the mystery alive, but with that you are giving all of us the most unforgettable experience. Folks, are you excited for this? Let me know in the comments below. Next time we will start our exploration of ABBA's classic concerts. Alright, until then, hey do